Hi everyone, this is Mao from Sparkly Belly. Whether you're a dancer or not, you may have a regular bra or a costume bra that is a bit too big on you. So in this video, you will see how to make two shapes of bra inserts, which I call lemon pads and moon pads. They are comfortable, easily removable, washable, and transferable, and give your girls a little lift. So let's get started. To make lemon pads and moon pads, you need washable fabric. I'm using stretch cotton here, but old t-shirts would work well too. Batting or a filler. Pick one that's washable. You can use washable shoulder pads, but shoulder pads I saw at a store were just made out of layers of batting anyway, so I'm using regular batting here. The free pattern from my blog. You can get yours free at sparklybelly.com slash bra dash inserts. And your sewing tools such as scissors, pins, needle, thread, marker, and sewing machine. You might be wondering why the lemon pads and moon pads. So this was inspired by bras I bought in Japan and they often come with either one type or both type of these pads. The lemon shaped ones go at the bottom of the bra cups to give your girls a lift and the moon shaped ones go against the sides to give your girls support from the side. And by making these yourself, you can stuff as much or as little as you like. So first, print out the patterns and cut along the lines. One pattern for the lemon pad and another one for the moon pad. Then place one of the patterns on your fabric and trace it with 5 millimeters or a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Or you can just eyeball it and cut. Make four of these for each pattern. Next, place the same pattern on the batting and cut out as many as the thickness you need. I'm using five layers for each insert. Then take a threaded needle and make small stitches to hold the layers together at four points near the edges. Once you have everything ready, take two pieces of the fabric at a time, place right sides together and sew around the edge with a five millimeter or a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Leave a 5 cm or 2 inch gap so you can turn it inside out. Repeat this with the other set of the fabric. Snip off the corners, flip the pockets, and stuff them with the batting. Make sure to fill all the way into the corners. Once the pockets are filled to your liking, pin the gaps and do a wide zigzag stitch all along the edge. Try to catch the batting inside with the stitches. This will ensure the batting doesn't move around when you wash them. And that's it! Follow the same steps to make the moon pads. So here's how to place the lemon and moon pads in your belly dance costume bra cups. First, undo the stitches that hold the lining fabric. It's usually attached with simple stitches and don't worry, it's not going to undo the beading on the front. Next, place the moon pads against the side edge of the cups and the lemon pads against the bottom of the cups. You can try it on and see where you would like them. Then just do quick stitches at corners so they don't move and stitch the lining back on in a spiral fashion. So here's how it looks on me. It's hard to see, but the right side has no pads and the left side has both lemon and moon pads. The left side definitely feels more full and I don't worry about a horrible gap showing when I bend down. And these are made of washable material so you can easily remove the pads toss them in the mesh lingerie bag and into the washing machine and place them back in the same bra or a different one. Hope you like this tutorial and if you make your own lemon pads and moon pads, share your experience on Sparkly Belly's Facebook page. And to get the pattern for these pads, visit sparklybelly.com slash bra dash inserts. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!